After seeing the disadvantages of this uh, simple union, which is going to make the search process a little costlier if we do it wrongly, then instead of a simple union, we can look for something called weighted union. In weighted union, we just uh, make the count of the nodes in the, both the sets. And here we found that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the count here is 10 and count here is 3. Therefore, it is uh, better to disturb uh, set with a smaller count so it is advisable to make smaller uh, set as a subset of a bigger set instead of the other way around so how to know that the simplest uh, way of doing is to remember these counts so how where can we remember the counts Yes, you know, the two places are still unused. That is uh, location 2 and location 5, which are trying to tell us that they are the roots. And uh, along with that, uh, can we add this information that it is root and at the same time, if it tells how many nodes are there in that uh, or how many elements are there in that set, then definitely it would be helpful. So what can we do? Uh, the set whose leader is five, yeah, that's here. The set whose leader is five is having 10 elements. So I would like to write 10 here. But of course, this 10 should not uh, confuse that it is leading us to 10, one thing. Second thing is, it should not, uh, we should not forget that phi is a root. So for a root, we had uh, used a minus 1 logic. So let's uh, use that negative logic for saying that it is root and the number instead of minus 1 let us write the count as size of the set so at 5 we get a minus 10 and at 2 at 2 we get minus 3 now what we have to do is if this is i, this is j, then just look at p of i, p of j. p of i is saying minus 10, p of j is saying minus 3. So which one should become child, which one should become parent? So minus 10 should become parent, minus 3 should become child when it is possible when this is the condition. So minus 10 is less than minus 3. That means J should become the child of I. So if P of I is less than P of J, then what should happen? J should be a parent of J. should be i. What is j? j was 2. So we are trying to say parent of 2 is i. Done. Okay. Now parent of 2 is 5. That means uh, under 2 we write uh, i. So 
from 4 it goes to 2 from 2 it goes to 5 and 5 is negative that means it is the root so what has happened is we have made this connection after this connection is made we have a single set if there is single set then the number should become totally 14 whereas this is only 10 now what should i do how should i convert this minus 10 into minus 13 so i need to know how many were there earlier so it was written at location 2 but after converting changing this connection that minus 3 is lost so anyway i have to write uh, some of that so better better remember that the two sum so this was uh, minus 10 this was minus 3 so temp will be minus 13 done then if uh, p of i is less than p of j what we should do p of j should be made i so p of j is made i and this value has to be changed so i should be changed to 10 else p of i should be made j and j should be equal to 10 so that's the simple logic we are going to use so when we started we temp is equal to minus 10 minus 3 that is minus 13 then we found p of i is less than p of j yes p of i is less than p of j therefore p of j is made equal to i p of j is made equal to i i is 5 so 5 is written here and then the place of i instead of minus 10 minus 13 is written so that's it that's as simple as that so minimum changes are required so just find what is the temp that is the sum of the two because that we need to write there why we need to calculate in the beginning because one of them we are changing on the way and once you change it you can't get that back therefore before changing ensure to use it for finding the total so p of i plus p of j temporarily store somewhere and if p of i is less than p of j that means number of nodes in i are greater than number of nodes in j yeah, please don't forget that uh, this p of i p of j are in negative terms therefore this less than equal to less than greater than conditions you have to look in the reverse so the number of nodes in i are greater than number of nodes in j therefore p of i is less than p of j in that case j should be connected to i so parent of j should be made equal to i so that's what we did i was uh, 5 j was 2 so parent of i the p of i was minus 10 uh, and p of j was minus 3 so this condition is true therefore p of j j is 2 so at location 2 we have written i i is 5 and then at location i temp which was minus 13 is written here so now what has happened is this whole thing will become one set yes and in all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 are the nodes. That's why it is said minus 13 and 5 is the leader. So at leader position minus 13 is written and all other, all other places the parents numbers are written. So that's the weighted union.
what are the advantages of using this uh, what is application of uh, this uh, sets and all we look in the coming sessions thank you